Hi, my name is Steve Hughes, and welcome to my channel. This is where we discuss all things related to financial services. We talk about the IMOs, we talk about the comp plans, we talk about those recruiters out there that want to do nothing but recruit you and make money off your back and provide you with absolutely nothing in terms of training or support. That's what we talk about a lot here, unfortunately, because it's so rampant out there. You know, high contract, high, com high contract, low commissions, because a high contract doesn't mean commissions. Most of you don't realize that. They can say, I'll give you a 100% contract, I'll give you a 110% contract, and then pay you about 50% commission. So you gotta be aware of all that kind of stuff. And you want a fair and equitable comp plan, you want a comp plan that you can come into at a certain rate and grow into a, a higher rate. But you also want technology, you want great leads, you want great training, you want great support. We talk about that on this channel. There's probably a hundred videos out there that you know, in some way, shape, or form, I'm talking about that on just about every channel. So that's what you want. It's not just about the IMOs. I get a ton of emails and text messages from all of you saying, hey, what's the best IMO? It's not just about the IMO. It's also about who you sign up with because there's a lot of different agencies, hundreds of agencies, where those agencies could be one person, could be a thousand people in one agency. That's where you're going to get your day-to-day -day support, not necessarily from the IMO. That's your coach and mentor relationship. Anyways, I said I'd like to say this. The only way to get this information out to other people that don't really, that, that are buying the tea leaves of the uh, of what the the recruiters, these guys that it's all about recruiting, recruit, recruit, recruit. You know who I'm talking about. I'm talking about the ones that talk to you about recruiting, making a list of your 20 friends or the people that you like the most or people you want to go into business with. I love that one, right? Before you even license, they want you making a list and they want to be calling them. Why? Because you can't even make any money until you're licensed, but they can, and they override your production. Because here's what they know. Most people quit. And you, they hope that the odds are in their favor they can leave by a few people behind so they can still make... Look, we all do that in the, in the business. We're all trying to join our agencies. And my point is this, or grow our agencies. My point is this, is that you've got to find the right balance. You want a fair and equitable comp plan with training, with support, with technology, a lead program they own. There's there's three letters of the outfit, starts with an F, ends with an L, that doesn't own their own lead program, but they'll sure give you a high contract. High contract, no leads, equals zero. Broke agents. That's my opinion. Take it what's worth, but it's been proven over and over again by all the calls I get from you. So, again, like I said, I would be grateful if you, there's a lot of people out there on, on YouTube that are trying to use YouTube uh, for recruiting efforts. Hey, let me make me honest with you, transparent. I'm building my agency as well. If you need some support, if you need great training, if you want someone to coach and mentor you from 30 years experience, give me a call, shoot me an email, shoot me a text, maybe we're a fit, maybe we're not. But at least I can kind of help you, you know, clear the deck as to what's what and what's not what. You know, remove all the BS, basically. So do that. In any case, they're spreading a lot of what I call fake news, okay? And in terms of what's real, what's not real. And, then, and you have to ask them specific questions and you have to ask for documentation. So here's the way I want to get this out to everybody. So YouTube shares the videos by the fact that they think that you, it's, it's content that people like. And the way they figure that out is, is by you mashing the bell, right, down below, subscribing to my channel, but more importantly, hit the thumbs up button, right? Make a comment, but the thumbs up button is huge because they mean that means that someone likes it and they'll show it to other people that's in our industry and more people won't spend a year or two wasting their time than figuring out they were lied to, okay? So anyway... Here's the deal. COVID-19 uh, has been a global pandemic. The, you know, in my opinion, there's a, there's a lot going on with this virus. It's certainly serious. A lot of lives have been lost. But in comparison to the flu, to a lot of different things, uh, you know, it's going to come down to where it's a good thing we were able to flatten the curve. We all need to get back to work. In the meantime, the insurance companies, you know, we, we saw this coming a couple of weeks ago that the window starting to close. Right, and they're going to use COVID nineteen as a way to disqualify or to uh, under to, to not underwrite your cases. Well, yesterday, two of our carriers did that: uh, NASA Ray uh, and also Transamerica. And let's go to the, take a look at the video real quick, and I can show you their emails from just yesterday, which tells me 
again, or confirms with, with me and should with you that you got to have a sense of urgency on getting out there and talking to these people about coverage. If this is not a time to sit down, look, you can do face to face, you can do telesales, virtual sales, whatever you want. There's a lot of ways you can, look, you can, you can, I've got agents that are taking the, uh, their stool. <laughs> they got their own little stool. Uh, they got the, they got the gloves, they got the mask. And they're going out there sitting in their house, you know, 10 feet away and doing the application. I got some doing it in the driveway. I got some doing it in the porch. I got some doing it, you know, out in the middle of the yard. It's, it's, it, you know, it's crazy, you know, what the lengths where, where people are willing to go to. But that's really the, the, the point, isn't it? What lengths are you willing to go to to make sure you do your job? Which is not about making a bunch of money. We make a lot of money. We shouldn't even talk about money in on these videos or even when we're talking to other agents because it's a given. If you are consistent in your lead flow and activity and you're willing to do the work and be consistent, persistent every single day to talk to people, reach out to people, there's no greater time in, in, in probably since eight, uh, N1H1, the last virus, that uh, to where you can, to where the opportunity is, is tremendous right now to uh, to make money, and so that's what I want you to understand is that standing down right now, you can certainly do that, or you can learn how to do things over the phone, and you can do virtual sales and tell us what do you want to do, uh, or you can go out there with your mask and your gloves, and your own stool, and 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 stay ten feet away from your clients and do e apps, and and make more money now while sixty million people. You know, I've got furlough. Twenty, I think I saw yesterday. Twenty-two million people uh, currently file for unemployment. Historic, right? But my income's gone up. I've got agents on my team. Their income has gone up. Our company, IRIMO, their sales have gone up. This is not a time to stand stand down. Everybody has to make a personal decision of what you feel comfortable with. But if you're in this for just the money, you're in it for the wrong reasons. And in my opinion, you won't last long. You gotta love people. You gotta want, love what you do. You gotta be passionate about the fact that what we do matters. People die, right? I got this yesterday from my agents. I also just got on the phone with the son of one of my most memorable and favorable clients. Unfortunately, I'll use his first name, Jerry, passed away yesterday in a car accident. I wrote two policies for him back in August last year. Two policies, August last year, what is that? Eight months, thereabouts. Had this agent not been persistent and consistent and got out there and spoke with this gentleman, his family would not be in the situation they're in right now. They'd be broke, concerned about their next month's mortgage payment, dealing with the loss of, of Jerry, amongst other things. What we do matters because everybody goes out the same way. They die. We know that. And our customers should know that. But we get the excuses like, oh, well, whatever. I don't plan on dying. Nobody plans on dying. Kobe Bryant didn't plan on dying with his daughter either the morning he boarded that helicopter. So again, my message today, COVID-19 you know, update, is this the end of life insurance agents? It might be the end of life insurance agents for the, the ones that, that look at this just solely as a, a high commission occupation and uh, are not willing to put themselves at risk, you know, not willing to be on the front lines of doing what we do for a living. You know, we, we, are, we are an essential business, I think, in almost every single state. Well, why do they call us essential? Because people need what we have to offer. Right? We're not working at the grocery store. We're not working at the gas station. We're not working at the donut shop. We are essential, right? That's what we do. And that's, you know, get, get your PPE, get out there and do what we do, uh, which is protect clients, protect their families, protect their, fu their families that they leave behind, their futures. That's what we, if you, if you love people, you, and you want to make a lot of money, this is the occupation to be in. If you just love money, probably not. Because the people just love money and not, I don't understand that what we do is, is critical, especially right now as those windows are starting to close and some insurance carriers are starting to eliminate COVID-19 as a means of, uh, or as, a, as an underwriting question. It's a knockout question in some cases, right? And they're stopped going to be offering coverage, which means we have a limited opportunity to get out there. And I tell them, you have about 14 days. This is why I tell my clients, you have about 14 days before you may not be insurable for now or in the foreseeable future, maybe even ever, right? So use that sense of urgency to get me. I just talked, called up some of my leads just a few minutes ago. And I said, I don't mean to, I'm not, I'm not trying to harass you. I'm not, and she says, I know you're not, Steve. I appreciate you following me. I just, I just want to tell you that two carriers that I had yesterday stopped providing coverage during the, for people that are over 70 years old. 
And so we really need to get this done as soon as possible before they all fall a lockstep with each other. And so she totally understood that. So again, that's what we do, right? I know it's not comfortable. Uh, it sounds like it's ambulance chasing, but it's not, okay? You, what we do is it matters. It's, you know, it's, it's different because the frontline nurses and first responders, they do have a very important role to play, obviously, but so do we. Because the people that, that these folks leave behind, remember about three and a half to four percent of the people who get this virus aren't going to make it. And you and I could do something about that next generation that's affected by that. Anyway, let's go take a look at the video and I'll be right back. So let's take a look here for a quick second. And you can see a couple of emails I have on my screen here. One of those here, as you can see, is Nassau Ray. And if you go down here, it says, as the COVID-19 pandemic progresses, we are carefully assessing its impact on our business. As a result, the following temporary changes are effective on April 20th, 2020. We will continue to monitor this development situation, developing situation, and communicate any additional coverage, underwriting coverages that might become necessary. And so you can see here, it's starting to slow down. So let's take a look at this. For Safe Harbor Terms, Safe Harbor Term Express, and Remembrance Life applications for proposed insurers who are age 71 or older will not be accepted. Please do not submit these cases and have tested positive for or been diagnosed as having had and fully recovered from COVID-19 will be postponed for at least 30 days following recovery and the applicant must submit a signed statement from their health care provider affirming full recovery and absence of these symptoms. For a safe harbor term, decisions on applications received from proposed insurers who are age 50 or older and rated table 5 or higher will be postponed and reassessed in 30 days. Any application received after April 20th will be subject to these postponement criteria in progress in process pending application will be reviewed based on underwriting guidelines in effect when received during underwriting review. So again, um, starting to shut things down here slowly. Um, be be uh, you know careful that you read this correctly. It says for Safe Harbor Terms, Safe Harbor Term Express, and Remembrance Life Applications for Purported Insured are age 71 or older will not be accepted. Please not submit these cases. So that's number one. So if you have any cases that are old, older than age 71, they're out. Or they have tested positive or for or been diagnosed as having. So these are separate issues. It's not they're over 71 and have tested. These are separate cases, right? And then safe our return setting. So go over here. Then that's, uh, again, that's NASA, right? If any of you use those people. This is uh, Transamerica. Uh, again, updated guidelines as of... 420 right here. Uh, the COVID-19 pandemic has impacted the industry in many ways, including limiting access to paramedical exams. We are now offering additional options to satisfy medical requirements on new cases, which includes increased non-medical guidelines for clients through age 55. Starting 4-8-2020, which is actually earlier, I got this email, it was clearly backdated. Um, these new guidelines will be effective till further notice for Trend Center, Super Trend Center LB, Transamerica Financial Foundation, Transamerica Lifetime. Traditional paramedic exams and labs will still be accepted at the current medical guidelines for clients under 75 years old. Due to circumstances around COVID-19, Transamerica will not be accepting applications on clients over the age of 75 for all life insurance products. There it is, folks and unable to offer LTC riders or chronic or critical living benefit riders through age 55, uh, age 56 plus. Requests to reduce face amounts to non-med level, levels to waive medical requirements will be honored. Contact your underwriter. So again, things are starting to change, folks. And um, I recommend you go through these other, other uh I recommend you go through these. Stop. I recommend you go through the rest of this document if you have it. If not, you can certainly email me and I'll send it to you. And um, be prepared when you go out there to basically stop writing the SRA uh, or even Transamerica for the time being. So as the window starts to close down, go ahead. Okay.
All right, so the, again, sense of urgency. Make sure you 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 can go you can go find those emails. I'd be printing them off. If you're doing telesales, I'd be sending them out to them on email or showing them virtual sales, whatever you want to call it. Uh, or I'd be printing them off and taking them with me on the on the appointment. But be creative, and you know, don't let this be the end of your life insurance agent's career. Right? Many people are. Maybe you are sitting it out, and it's a tragedy because. Again, this, if you use this correctly, you can make money off this for many years to come and change a lot of people's lives by making sure that they have coverage. So again, we, as I've always said before, there's nothing wrong with making a lot of money while helping people. That is a byproduct of the service that we provide. So go out there and provide it, and I'll see you on the next video. Remember, please give me that thumbs up. Okay, thumbs up means a lot. Thumbs up means YouTube, share that video so our other people can see it and, and, and run from the recruit, recruit, recruit. You know, uh, don't get those three words out of order kind of people that are just looking to make money off your back. Not providing you any service. Again, being transparent here, we recruit agents too. I prefer looking at like we hire agents and we partner with them, okay, for success. We don't recruit a thousand, throw against the wall, provide them no support, and hope somebody out there is enough, enough self-driven to go out there and survive and succeed without any help at all. That's not our plan. If you want to call me, certainly do that. We have many opportunities right now to uh, to train you properly. But I got, a, I got a webinar here in an hour talking about how uh, our agents can uh, succeed with telesales. And some are succeeding in a very big way, making fifteen, twenty thousand dollars a week right now. So uh, again, shoot me an email at Steve Houston H O U S T N H O U S T O N dot me at gmail dot com, or shoot me a text at five three zero three two zero eight seven four two, and let's talk. We may or may not be a fit together, but at least I can kind of help you sort out all the riffraff that's in this industry and then MLMers out there that are going to force you to recruit in order to pay you what you're worth. See you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>